right this is day one of advent of code 2024 so let's see what we are facing today uh, well we're getting a list like this of two numbers that are uh, side by side and they are like location IDs now but the thing that we need to do in the first part is to uh, get the smallest number in the left list and then match it with the smallest number in the right then get the difference or the distance between the two so if this is one this is three the distance will be two then get the second one which is two and then match it with the second small which is three so the distance will be one then we would add this one to the two which would be three and then we would go on and uh, get the whole number and the important part is that the distance is like an abstract value so if this was for example 30 and this was like 9 and then want to match these two the last number of this one with the last number of this one then the distance would be plus 21 although we are subtracting 9 from 30 which will be minus 21 we would get the abstract value of that so here we get the list of the numbers in a text file and then the thing that I do is just I would read the file and then get the data. When I get the data, I can uh, split it by new line, which would give us some rows like this one and then this one. And then I split it by these three characters to get the left and the right, which will be happening here. So if I log the R, you can see that this is like this or like this. Then I need to like put the all that are on the index 0 to the left and all the one that are index 1 to the right that is happening here so we get the R and then map it we get the only the left item and it would be like uh, basically like this left and right but we are ignoring the right part so we don't need to include it here and this plus sign would convert this left item to a number because uh, since you can see here these are all string so now if I remove that and put it here and say left and then run it again you can see that all the numbers are the left numbers here and then of course we need to sort them so uh, then if we remove this one we have a sorted list here and the sorted list here the only thing is that to go and iterate through one of the array and then i get the distance from the left to the right so here i go and iterate on the left one and would just get the abstract value of the right at that index minus the left at that index well while this is abstract value we could change this and say left minus right but it doesn't make any difference and in the end we just log the sum which will give us this number which is the final answer then for part two it gets a little bit trickier so this sum is a bit different now in this list the first number which is three we need to find how many trees are we having here we have one two and three threes so the thing that we should do is say three times three which will give us nine for the next one is four how many fours we have here only one so four times one will be four and it will be added to nine then the next item is two we don't have any two so we can skip it say two times zero is zero also one then we get three which is the same value here would give us nine again three which will give us nine so we need to add all those values together so to resolve this we can say okay get three and then find out how many threes are here and they do it for four so for each of these numbers we need to do a for loop here it is not very fast so to say the next thing that we could do is that while we have sorted this we can get the last index and then the first index and then subtract these two to find how many items are there so if we go here and say like this is two and then three and three and three and then four and then five six and so on 
uh, this is the right one and if the left one is also like uh, let's say 3 and some other numbers then when we get to 3 we only need to get this first index and the last index and then this shows that we have like three items with number three then again if we have four here we need to get the first index and the last index and then if we have like 12 here well the 12 is not in this list so the first and the last index are both minus one so let's see the code here i would iterate through the left and here I get the number so that I don't reference the left every time and I get the left index which means that go to the right array and then find the index of the number the beginning of the sequence of that number so uh, the left index will be this in this example if we are looking at 3 and if we found the left index which means that we have at least one occurrence of this value down here then we would continue if we didn't find any which means that the uh, value is for example 12 and it is not found here so we don't need to do anything now if we found the left one we need to go and find the right one so we need to say okay get the right index then subtract from the left and then add one to it it would give you the number of the repetition of that number in the second list here then multiply it by number whatever the number was which is in this case 3 and then add it to the sum that we had beforehand and in the end we need to just log the sum so let me remove this part and in the end it would give us a number like this which is our answer Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.